Hello and uh, welcome back to uh, my ham shack. This is uh, K7 KQA uh, James. And uh, today I want to show you a really cool uh, nifty new product I picked up uh, for my 2 meter system. Which at the moment is running a ICOM, or excuse me, a Yaesu FT736. Uh, you see here, that's this one. And then uh, a little driver PA right, right here. Sorry, I tend to, uh, don't mind that. That's a 6 meter uh, Larkan that goes with the 6 meter station down that direction. And we'll, I'll do maybe do a video on that one later. But this was just too cool to not share. So uh, I found a company based out of Ukraine called uh, VHF Designs. And I did uh, a video on this uh, 23 centimeter uh, 350 watt amplifier that they sell. And... I got to looking around at some of their other stuff and, you know, golly, they, they had some cool stuff. Um, one of them being was this, uh, uh, this LNA, and I, I'm a big LNA guy. I love uh, preamplifiers, uh, playing with them, uh, testing them out. Uh, I have lots of different, um, a wide variety of, of preamplifiers, even old land weirs and things. And um, Anyway, uh, this one especially is very cool and I'm, I think I'm going to start using this full time and uh, the really neat thing about this is it'll pass RF and uh, at QRO power um, and it, that is you know it, it's it's rated at uh, um, I believe 1200 watts and uh, so you're not getting the full 15 out of it but uh, uh, my 8877 here runs um, about 12 or 50 uh, downhill with the wind when I really want to push it it could go you know that's that's kind of safety zone for me um, so anyway they, they make this uh, sequencer and I may have one um, out that's a different brand that's a W6 PQL anyhow um, this is really more or less like a W6 PQL with the edit with one addition um, and that's the LNA power and let me see if I can get back here and show you some of this. So I kind of just home brewed it. And it's not clean, but you know, it's your basic sequencer, what you'd expect. But down there on the very bottom over here is one marked LNA. And that provides 12 volts um, of power to the relay or to the uh, preamplifier. Uh, it powers the preamplifier. And uh, it also. Uh, what the sequencer does is it will cut the 12 volt uh, power uh, upon PTT um, as a normal sequencer would work you'd key it and events start happening well in, a, uh, in addition to, to a standard sequencer I guess this one uh, powers has enough juice in it to power the LNA and upon PTT will pull uh, pull the voltage 12 voltage uh, 12 volt off of the preamplifier and um, allow, and it will allow you to pass uh, 1,200 watts of uh, RF. So what that does, and to simplify a little bit, is it eliminates this high power relay. That's a couple hundred bucks. It eliminates one of these relays, a CX600. Um, you know, maybe, I don't know what they are, 100, 150 bucks. Um, so it eliminates a lot of electro stuff that's electromatic too, you know, so we're really removing quite a bit there out of the RF chain that could potentially go south on you. So I like the, the kiss, you know, keep it simple, <laughs> stupid kind of thing, which is probably why I'm still running this old 736, but it works. So I, uh, if it's not broken, I'm not going to fix it. Um... Sorry about that. I had somebody keying up another radio over there. So just real quick, I'll show you. I have the uh, sequencer on at the moment and uh, pointed towards Seattle. And um, that's what we're picking up uh, with the uh, preamplifier. Let me go ahead and shut the preamplifier off with the sequencer, obviously, because it's uh, powered via this sequencer. And as soon as I killed it it uh, it killed it and that's you know the function of the uh, one of the basic functions of the preamplifier so we're down you know pretty pretty substantial jump 
I'll kick the power back on as soon as that kicks back up and uh, just a real quick simple little I'll do use a foot twitcher but you can do this with you know like I'll run this radio uh, over here with this PC with white snake on it for some reason uh, for two meter meteor scatter on occasion and uh, right now I just have the foot switch plugged in um, and I use this Heil mic over here on this uh, stand for a uh, single sideband but uh, I'll just depress the foot switch and you can see you know it just it just goes down you let you pass RF piece of cake um, that's a driver uh, PA for the 8877 there that likes about 50 watts drive um, this radio provides doesn't quite provide enough power so anyway I don't know it uh, it's a cool setup I, I really like it because um, you know tip and typically you wouldn't have your preamplifier quite this close to the to the PA you know I mean we're you know, I've literally got it just just kind of a little jumper right there from the this is the output of the PA this is a W6 uh, PO style 8877 input uh, output but it's really that simple I took so many jumpers I was able to take so many little um, coaxial adapt adapters out and the elimination of these electromagnetic re uh, relays which are you know they're fine they're there's nothing wrong with them um, but uh, this I, I found the LNA to be so far of exceptional quality fit and finish uh, noise level uh, the gain it's been a wonderful amp and the guys over there at VHF design are are super cool and they're attentive and they make good good products you know um, the sequencers I run a couple of them there's that one is one of theirs and uh, this one over here um, is also one of theirs uh, VHF designs and I think they're about 22 bucks and they're not paying me in any way or any kickbacks to do videos for them this is just uh, a cool outfit that I found that makes cool stuff so figure I'd share it around you know um, see if anybody get anything out of it um i guess final word i'm probably this is going to be the next thing i upgrade in the shack is uh the two meter radio um and i use this for sideband and eme only so i don't know i was thinking maybe go 7300 and and then do an if and uh have the advantage of a band scope maybe a flex 1500 and go sdr i don't know time to maybe step it up as this is a 30 year old radio probably all right thanks for watching uh, 73 and we'll look for you uh, next time here at uh, k7 uh, kqa's uh, uh, pretty dirty and uh, and messy shack 73